Tom Wallace. Uh, I am a structural engineer. I have a company called Wallace Engineering Structural Consultants. Let's see, I bought uh, the 200 East Brady building in uh, 2004. The Brady area was the original town area, original township of Tulsa. And so there's a great deal of history of our blue collar history and the oil boom and that sort of thing there. And you can still feel it. When we moved our building down there, there was uh, central freight truck lines across the street where the park is going and, and uh, a lot of dilapidated buildings around. About the only thing that wasn't dilapidated was the spaghetti warehouse. I think probably the area that characterizes Brady the most is Main Street between Brady and Cameron. And it is uh, most historically accurate. It has the new Brady Tavern uh, in, in there. Uh, it has the violin shop, which I've never been in the violin shop, but everybody tells me that it's like the premier violin shop in the whole region. Some time ago, a group of people called it the Brady Village. And uh, we got together with the owners association and the merchants association said, we don't like the Brady Village name. Uh, we want to name it, uh, give it a name that is reflective of our aspirations for the Brady area. And we gave it the official name, the Brady Arts District. It's really uh, exciting to imagine what the future holds just in the next 18 months, no less the next five years. You know, we've got. Uh, I think about $110 million worth of construction underway. I know practically nothing about the history of Tate Brady. I know that there's been some negative uh, uh, press that's come out that he might have been uh, or probably was a member of the Ku Klux Klan, uh, that he was, uh, may or may not have been involved with the race riot uh, fiasco of 1921. Um, but uh, uh, you know, that's not something that, uh, that I had ever even heard of until the last you know, three or four years. Uh, it, it's been history that's been buried in Tulsa. When I was a kid in high school, I was at an integrated school, Old Central downtown, that's where AEPPSO is. None of that stuff was ever talked about. Uh, I guess it's a, a, something that Tulsa was so ashamed of that we, we suppressed it for years, and, and I think it's a good thing that it's come out. I think the John Hope Franklin Park is a good thing, and uh, I think it's time to move on. Where it'll be in 20 years, I have no idea. I hope it doesn't go too crazy because, you know, be careful what you ask for.